every time these guys have faced each other. So here we go. This is oh, like trying to uh, trying to go for a handshake. I, I I don't know what Balin was thinking. He knows better than that. He these were childhood friends. It, yeah, he he should know better. Everybody knows what Damon Ace is all about. He's in there to dominate. He's in there to win. He's in there to prove that he is the most vicious human in all of Rocky Mountain Pro. These guys, you know, they grew up with each other. They, you know, they grew up wrestling with each other in the backyard. And, and we saw what Damon Ace did to his own father for crying out loud. So we know what he's capable of. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I, I don't see the issue. It's people change. You have to make decisions oh. and do what's best for you. And that's what Damon Ace did. Balaam, low bridge the road. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh! Phenomenal move. Graham Lakes already. Oh, there it is. Wait, he, going for the springboard off the ropes, and he got caught. The problem is he gave him too much time. Damon Ace is too tough. He's too great of an athlete. You have to stay on him if you plan on beating him. And Balaam should know better, too. That was a heavy right hand that caught Balaam, and Balaam looks to be all out of sorts. That's a simple type of that simple strike, a big power move. That's all you need sometimes. And now Damon Ace has the advantage that he needs, and I don't see him giving that up for the rest of this match. Oh, Balaam trying to fight back. And this is this is where Damon's just got a complete advantage. Oh, beautiful suplex. Did you see that? Just the power that he lifted him up from the knees, got him straight up into a into a suplex in just one swooping motion. And not only did he throw him up effortlessly, then he yanked him down, added extra effort into that slam, making Balaam feel that suplex that much more. Compliments from the president as well. He says you sound really good on the call as much as he hates to admit it. That's because Danger Dean knows talent when he sees it and when he hears it. And he knows that Caden Koyama has money inside the ring and out. We have some of the, oh, huge, oh, going to back suplex. He is just pummeling with variations of suplexes, smashing his body, making oh, it hard to kick out. Look at that cover. <laughs> That should have been a three. That, that Spice was a terrible referee. And this is what we do at Rocky Mountain Pro. We have the greatest matches. We have we have great commentary. Tuesday night, we have Danger Dean and D'Lo Brown. Thursday night's got me and you, heck. That's how it's done at Rocky Mountain Pro. And we got some of the greatest production in all our professional wrestling back there. Oh, oh, oh. Was that speed of Balaam Lynx? Oh, look at that. That little island special. Oh, he's got Damon rocked. Yeah. Oh, sling blade. Takes the big man off his feet. This could be huge, but the problem, Balaam's not getting up quick enough to capitalize. And I kind of hope that was almost it. He almost had him. That was really close. Balaam is really riding some serious momentum. Damon needs to pull it all together right now. And... one of the incredible main events that you'll see when you tune in every Thursday night here on Ignition, right here on YouTube. And where else can you chat live with the commentary? Oh, wait, it's ankle lock. Trying to get him to tap out. He's got that ankle locked in, cinched in tight. This has got to be it. If Balaam doesn't tap out, he's going to have a broken ankle. Sometimes you have to fold and cut your losses, and I think this is that time for Balaam Lynx. And he's got, he's got the leg grapevine. And Balaam trying to fight out. This is just putting on a lot of added pressure on that, that lower leg of Balaam. And if you take out the leg of Balaam, you take out a lot of his offense. That's the majority of his offense. He's a flyer. He's a mover. If you can't move around the way Balaam Lynx does, then he's in trouble. Maybe that's something I should keep in the back of my head for the future. Uh, you, could, you could be seeing them down the line, him and 
Greco, who could be the ignition champion as well. well. I'll tell you what, we may not see them if Damon Ace keeps this up, because if he keeps up this beating right now, Balin Lynx is on the shelf for the foreseeable future. <laughs> attacking that leg. And that's that's the genius. That is how smart, how intelligent Damon Ace is. He can take a body part and not just break it apart in a traditional manner. He finds his unique ways to torture you. Look what he's doing to Balaam's knee right now. And that's this is this is someone that you ran with in, 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 as part of the wake. So you know what but well, look at Balaam. Balaam was able to Balaam was able to get him almost in a, like a triangle choke with his legs. That's a big reversal. And when these, when you know somebody, when you know an opponent, like David Ace and Balin Lynx know each other, you find ways. You, you've been through some of these things before. You can find a creative way to get out of a certain move. That is what we've seen from Balin Lynx right now. I don't like the guy, but I got to give him that much. And, and Damon looks to be fading a little bit. But he was able to get to the ropes. I don't know for ring awareness. That, that, is, that is high level ring awareness from Damon Ace. Only an elite level wrestler knows where they are like that and can get themselves out of a horrible predicament just as that. And there's axe handle, and, and now Balaam's got to kind of go to a little bit of a different variation of his offense because he's like, he hobbled a little bit. Yeah, what can he do without that leg? Oh, he's oh. still got some height on that leapfrog. Oh, but I did, you see, he didn't get very much height on that drop kick. No, he did, and he's not moving as fast. He's not jumping as quick. Oh, and he landed, he landed on that leg. Oh, once again, not much on that kick attempt. No, he, he, he's oh. tweaked. Oh, look at this. Oh, big roll through, big roll through. Oh, oh my God, what a bulldog. Wow, what a sequence we just witnessed. It looked like it was going to go with the rolling German. It was Damon, but Balaam able to reverse it with a bulldog. And now trying to shoot the half and, and get him over. That's a big man to turn over, though. One, two. It took too long. He couldn't capitalize. He could not capitalize, Lucas. He needed to get quicker onto that, onto that uh, pin. Oh, not this. Yeah, he's got it locked in that, like a cravat, but he's got, you see how the, the arm is positioned of, of Damon Ace, so he's, he, he, his neck is just getting compounded in there. That, that is a painful move. I wrestled Balaam a couple of weeks ago, and he put me in that exact same thing. I will vouch, that hurts. And, oh, I thought Balaam was going for the suplex, but it was Damon who, who reversed it now. Look at this. He's got him in a Boston Crab. And he's sitting all the way down on it, Caden. And he uh, definitely is. Again, just continuing to pound and wear down Balaam. Balaam's not moving like he was at the start of this match. And if Damon keeps up this type of submission attack, I think Balaam Ellis is going to tap out of this match. Balaam trying to reverse it. He got out of it. He's able to kick him out. And oh, looks like he's trying to go for a monkey flip. He's trying to monkey flip him. But all oh, but the but, power of Damon Ace, he just picked him up effortlessly. Just took a 200 plus pound man and threw him up onto the top rope. Yeah! And into a spine buster. Oh, what a spectacle. That, that could be it. That's got to be it. Damon's got to capitalize, though. He's got to get that pin. If he can get that pin, this match is over. It, it, a lot's been taken out of him as well. Damon Ace with one of the best spine busters in professional wrestling, but I don't know that he's got enough in him to turn over and get the pin. No, no he's, he's, he's had taken a beating in this match as well. And both men trying to, to get up. And I really think whoever gets up first, oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Oh. Some revenge on Damon Ace. We saw what happened a couple weeks ago. Yeah. But Damon needs to stay focused. Hey, I know Bruce. Bruce's out here, but Balaam's still in the ring. Bruce, Bruce needs, he wants to get some revenge. Whoa, whoa, Damon, watch out! There's a roll up. Whoa, wait. Balaam, oh! And that's, he caught him in the temple. One, two, three. I don't believe it. One of the smash, Balaam leaves. And Balaam just beat his nemesis, Damon Ace, thanks to a, 